Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Agar Pachapati and in this video, I will be talking about the second interview question of Python, which has been asked in the recent interview. So if you're new to this series, you can watch out my first video and then watch this video. So before the video, I would like to introduce my channel Geek Coders and here I upload videos on Azure Data Bricks, Azure Data Factory, SQL, Python and so on. So if you're liking my content, you can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. So let's get started with the today's video. So let me open my Python compiler. You can see here I can I can do a clear. Now you can see we have this list given or we can say array and we have to you know we have to find out a non-negative integer that is not in the array so the question is given an array of n unique non-negative integers how can you find a non-negative integer that is not in the array so if you can see we have this list and having 0 1 2 3 4 5 then 7 then 8 then 9 you can see we do not have this sixth element like sixth number we do not have in this array so the our output would be our output would be six let's say if i am changing this i'm changing this list and uh, if i am painting here and let's say i will remove these okay let me remove let me let me write like this one comma ten comma nine comma not ten let me use six comma two comma uh, seven comma five comma four okay now you can see in this we have uh three missing okay third is three number is missing and let's say if we have the same array present over here mm -hmm, present over here and instead of uh, let's say instead of zero i will put it here three then the missing number is zero right so we have to find out the solution of this question how would we do that so before going to that i would start my program by creating a function let's say find missing let's say i'm just defining a function find missing number okay and i yeah here i am passing one list now what would i do first i will try to store i will try to store the entry of this number into one dictionary okay so for that what would i do i will create one dictionary so let's say list underscore dictionary is equal to open and open and close curly braces and what i would do i will write for i in for i in the uh, l okay and then i am trying to store so I will write list underscore dictionary i is equal to true. Okay. So like I have done till this till this step. So what would be what would it, it happens that you can see our output would be like this zero is true, one is true, two is true, three is true, let's say four is also true and so on okay wherever the uh, number is present okay so we are doing like we are giving a check you can say in one of the dictionary okay that is number is present in this array or list after that what would i do simple i will start for i in uh, for i in this list only and i will check if this not if this not in uh, list list underscore dictionary dot get and i so i am finding out i am finding out the you know this zero index this zero index is present in this dictionary or not if it not it will return it will it will return our index okay and here i will do a return of return none and then here i will try to uh, you know call this function uh, sorry so let me copy this 
and let me paste it over here let me pass the array or let me just comment these things now and let me use here print and if i run this you will you can see our output is none here right now our output is none why it happened why it happened so if i try to if i try to write here print off so if i try to write here print of i and if i try to write this we'll see what would will be the output you can see we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 so it should print it should return 6 okay it should return 6 and what happened exactly our output is correct only right it should return i only so this anti not anti is wrong 5 right if not it should return 6 so 6 may why it is not done okay let me run it again 2 3 4 5 we do not have 6 right so the integer value should be 6 so what would I do array of right so one minute if I put it here range of plan of L plus one and it's correct we we'll try to run this now our output is six I did a mistake so now what is happening here I am checking till till the end of the loop okay array like length plus one and I am checking this now if you can see I am printing here I and let's say print here and there is a message uh, number comma I okay and if I try to run this now you can see see first we did entry for all the for all the numbers of this list and store in one of the dictionary and assign it to now you can see I am starting like we started again one loop okay for I in range then of uh, that list plus one and I am I am printing it down so you can see this zero is present here so it returns to uh, this one is also present so it returned to three four five five return to till five we have the value we know okay we have the value we know now now this seven number is going here no i mean six index is going here so this six and it returns none it returns none why it returns none because this sixth number sixth value i'm like sixth value in this uh, you know in this uh, list in, in this dictionary is not present so it returns none this condition satisfied this condition satisfied so it printed here number six and then it returns i okay so let me remove all these things let me remove all these things and let me just you know run this now you can see we have six for an example if i'm doing this you see the output the output is three and if i use the third example okay then our output should be zero so we have zero what if if i if i include here zero also okay leave it like you understood this concept right so this is the program which have been asked in one of the recent interview so if you are planning for the data engineer or some any other also you can prepare this uh, question and i hope you understood the concept of list and uh, array 
and yeah that's it for today's video i hope you've understood and if you do do like and share with your friends thank you